So do 10 of those, 10 from three feet, and then 10 jump, but very on and off with your jump. So you'll have 30 just warm up, getting into game speed, left, right, or spin, okay? We're just having them work on their footwork, different directions, doing some spin setting and squaring up both. Should be going left from the pass. Pretend I'm passing over here, Emily. Left your pass. Right, left, right, spin, and come back. That's a square, that's squaring. Okay. See if you can st set off two feet this time. Right, left, right. Right, left, oh, okay. here we go. Ready? Right, left, right, and jump. Do some jump footwork. Jump off the net. Here you go. Right, left. Your left foot should go towards your passer. Okay. okay, so right, left to the pass, or if the pass is from here, left to the pass over here so your body is open, and then right to your target. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You're, you're turning your foot before you start. Try again. Right, left, right. 100 close, working on your quick wrists, okay? Do another 100. That was too fast. I didn't even get over here in time. Good. See if you can get more power in it. You should make a noise on the wall. I should hear a noise on the wall. Okay, so you want the distance between your your four fingers and your thumbs to be the same, in a straight line. Okay. Let the ball come into your hands and push with strength against the wall. Quick wrist. There should be some flexion in your wrist this way. This drill is mostly to have them develop some control and working as a team and trying to figure out how to sort of beat the drill and then getting just a lot of touches on the ball. Start over. <laughs> you may need to edit some of this film. <laughs> Along the line. We're going to do walking forward, up and back. Walk backwards, up and back. Side shuffle, up and back. Karaoke. Remember karaoke? Skip forward, up and back. Skip backwards, up and back. And then lunge. Setting with the lunge. Okay? S spread out, Colby. Spread on down. Give yourself room. We're spread out even more, Colby. You don't have to be on the court. You're good, you're good. This drill is for ball control and, and having the setters do something differently with their feet than what's going on up, up top. So they might be doing a side shuffle and having to control the ball laterally. And they move back and forth. 
and then they're going to do karaoke. So do, they're doing something completely different down below. It's kind of like, you know, patting your stomach and, or patting your head and rubbing your tummy while maintaining control of the volleyball. In a perfect world, you would always have a perfect pass, but that's not what happens in volleyball. So they need to be able to contact at different points, different body postures. You guys forgot to skip. Oh. It's okay, finish lunge and then do skip. Skip and control. Skip, skip. Try to keep the ball about the same height and get into a rhythm. Let's do that again. That didn't look very rhythmic. See if you can control it. And then back skip. Skip backwards. About the same height, about a foot and a half height. Okay, pair up with someone about your same height. We're gonna do the jump, so you need one ball. Quicker, higher, jump higher, contact the ball higher. There you go. Okay. Keep your hands up, keep your hands up. There you go, good. Good. Okay, stop for a second. I want you to do um, 50 as a pair, okay? Go ahead. This is working on trying to get in a rhythm with their partner. You'll see if they're not in a good rhythm, this is a lot harder than it should be. If they're not setting a consistent ball that their partner can get into a rhythm with, it makes it a lot more difficult of a drill. And downs, I think we did this the first day, Colby. So you're going to take your ball and set it and sit down, touch your head to the floor and come all the way back up. So you want to spread out and show them how it's done? So it's just controlling the ball. Real sets, not just sort of, there you go, there you go. Okay, five of those each. So spread out, give yourself room. Touch your head to the floor. This is working on core and then just again, ball control, ball handling. You can make it more challenging by saying, okay, five in a row, without losing control of the ball. Okay, so you're gonna set yourself and then side set your partner. So you're going 90 degrees. Okay, and then next time set and turn the other way and side set your partner this way. Okay? So I want you to do 20 each. So you'll do 10 on each side. So we're working on side setting the ball, maintaining the distance. I want to see you guys maintaining the distance of the uh, three foot line and the end line. Turn. Good. Being able to set the ball in any position. Consistently, as you can see, Jordan does a pretty good job. Left right footwork, left right footwork to the ball every time. Stop for a second. Let's see if we can keep this on a straight line. That's what sport court's really nice, okay? Right now we're kind of all over the place. So pick a line, and when you set, turn, and see if you can set in a straight line instead of setting back. It's not a back set. Okay, so your, right, your outside hand will go over. It'll be a reach this way, okay, not this way. A lot of you guys are kind of doing like a half back set. See if you can keep it in a straight line. 
That's better. I need 10 now where you set and do a 180. So you set, back set to your partner. 10 each. Left, right footwork every time to the ball. Left, right, set yourself. Left, right again. Partners, talk to your, talk to your partners. Tell them where the ball needs to go. Spin to the right, spin to the right. I say spin to the right because if you're at the net and you're back setting, you should always turn to your right after you back set the ball. This is just working, again, on spatial awareness with the ball and, and control issues that you might have. And it's kind of fun. Hold on, stop. Some of you guys are trying to watch it the whole way. And what I'm telling you is, if you're doing this and trying to watch it the whole way, you're gonna get lost. The quickest thing to do, spin fast and then find it again. You're gonna have to take your eye off the ball, basically, because it's gonna be a spinning world. Okay, all right. Do a few more until they're done. Don't. Stay where you are. Jordan, you're going to do this. You're going to come forward, set a ball short. Okay? She's going to come up, set a ball short. Turn and run back. Left, right, set a ball. You stay where you are. Okay, so the short ball is like a two ball. Okay. You're gonna turn and run and come back and set this ball. This person does 10 on the end. And then you switch. So nice short, nice and short. Get back. Left, right to the ball every time. So we're trying to vary their distance and get them comfortable setting short distances and then turning with speed long distances and setting the farther ball. The partner really controls this drill and it can be set a little bit lower, set lower, a two ball, two ball. Control guys. Nice and control, good Colby. Nice Colby, control, don't make her move. Turn and run. Works on them. Moving their feet. I think setters don't move their feet enough and have control. As you can see, this has deteriorated quite a bit. Okay, the next one is, this person is going to jump. Same thing, 10, okay? I want you to jump on the short ball and stay down on this ball. So run back and set this ball. You'll run in and jump, set the two ball. It should be a two ball height. You guys are getting sky balls with the short ones, okay? So do it, work, work hard and fast for 10 balls and you're done. Jump the short one, run, control. Good, Jordan. Good, Taylor. Nice and control. Left, right. Left, right, jump. Keep, keep her on the white line if you can. Good. Yes, you're gonna run in the semicircle to this ball. Left, right, set, turn and run, turn and run back around. Well, you don't have to turn that way. You can left, right, and then turn inside if you want to, and then come to this left, right. So this person is tossing, this person is going left, right. So the tosses aren't really high, are they? She waits at, at the midpoint before she runs. Okay, that's the first one. The second one is outside leg. So on both sides, it's your outside leg. So I want you to get your hip around and be facing me when you set the ball, okay? Outside leg, in control. So we're just working on one leg at a time here. Good, now inside leg on both sides. Good, so she's gonna spin and set when she's square. Get her body around in control. 
get stopped, get there quick, get there quick. Good. And then the last one is jump. So you'll do square and then jump. A little bit higher toss. Push it out. Left, right, every time. Okay? So we're going to go through each of those sequences. The person on the back does 10 and switch for each one. Okay? Go ahead. Get to the ball quick. Get stopped. Left, right, every time. Left, right, good. Left, right. Left, right. This is just working on them getting around the ball, back towards their target. I just made a semicircle with tape. You can do this if you have a basketball key. It works on the, on the basketball key. You can use that arch for them to run around. So you want that your player to come around and be squared back into the target when they come back. Now she's doing her outside leg, and so she's going to be trying to set the ball in her midline, get around it with her hip, and set when she's square. Get around with the outside leg on each side. So you're going to be looking for the ball in the midline of their body when they're setting and that they're squared around to the tar target. And yet they're on one foot. Wait, wait here until she tosses. Good. Go get it. Try to see if you can spin your spin around a little faster. There you go, it's better. Get squared, good. Nice body control and good hand position. Both hands come up together and come down together. Nice control. Now if you start to over rotate, how can you stop yourself? If you're starting to spin too fast, how do you stop yourself? I don't think you'd bring your leg close. I think you just drop the leg. Just drop it. When you're square, don't just keep flying. Okay? It's not just like spinning into oblivion, okay? Put the leg out. It slows you, right? We talked about that with ice skaters. Put the leg out and also put it down. 